hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is my channel where i share my hair bow and craft tutorials if you like this kind of thing then please do subscribe and also hit the bell button to turn on notifications so that you can be up to date with all my future videos so today we are going to be making this stunning hair bow here this bow is known as the amora poema and that actually translates from Portuguese into English as Blackberry Poem, which is a little bit unusual. But I'm so excited to show you this bow because it is absolutely gorgeous. So I've already cut all my ribbons and what I'm going to do is show you the measurements of the ribbons you need and how many pieces. And then I'm going to make one half of the bow off the camera and I'm going to come back to make the tutorial to show you how I made each half step by step and that way I can show you using the other half of the bow if that makes sense I can then show you what I'm making and how I'm doing it I thought that might make it a little bit easier because I want to make the tutorial as simple as possible for you guys to follow I've got all my ribbon cut here and all together you need 11 pieces four pieces for the surrounding bow four pieces for the main part of the bow and three pieces which are optional and that is for the base of the bow you can do a base bow or you can do as i'm doing and i'm just doing three spike tails for my bow so the first four pieces for the surrounding bow you need two pieces for each side and i've got all four pieces here cut to 32 centimeters in length or 12 and a half inches in length if you prefer to work in inches and then these four pieces here for the main part of the bow are cut to 28 centimeters in length or 11 inches in length and the tails of the bow or the spikes are six inches in length or 15 centimeters in length and I'm doing three tails you can do three five however many tails you like I'm just going to do three and I've chosen to do my tails with two of the shimmer ribbon and one of the scale print ribbon I've also got this ribbon here which is a one centimeter wide ribbon and that is going to be to wrap around the center of my bow and also the little corner bows so I've got that to match my pink here as you can see, I have now made half of my surrounding bow and half of my main bow. And now I'm going to show you how I made these. So taking the longer two pieces of ribbon, which are the 32 centimeters in length pieces, taking these two pieces together, we're going to heat seal the ends and we're going to bond the ends together at the same time. So taking a lighter, hold it against that ribbon gently and as the ends are heat sealing and the fibres are melting, you can just squeeze those ends together and as it cools down it will form a bond. So it's joined like that. Do the same on both ends. Be careful because the ribbon does get hot as you've melted those fibres, so be careful. So they're joined together like that and then I'm going to find the centre of this by simply folding it in half and then grabbing a pin. I'm just going to mark that centre and that pin will also hold the middle parts of the ribbon together as well as the ends. So now we've got the centre of the ribbon and you will notice that I've pinned it from the bottom of the pattern. So as a rule, scales should go downwards like this and I've popped my pin in going at, towards the bottom of the pattern if that makes sense. 
this will just make it easier when it comes to making your bow because when you make this part you want the pattern to be the correct way up so as you can see my scales are sitting the correct way up so when you pop your pin in pop it towards the bottom of the pattern and next I'm going to flip it upside down so my pin is at the bottom here and I'm going to bring the two sides up together so just bring the two sides up together and then I'm going to overlap my left side over the right side and I did those exact same steps with this piece I overlapped the right over the left piece and then grabbing my ruler and another pin I'm going to make sure that this is five and a half centimeters across so I'm just going to slide that a little bit more over so as you can see this first little overlap here is at an inch and a half and the whole thing across is at five and a half centimeters sorry did I say inches oh, I said inches I meant centimeters so five and a half centimeters across and then half of five and a half is two and three quarter centimeters so I'm going to pop my pin in there at the halfway mark I'm just going to put my ruler down and pin that into place so you've got your pin in halfway and also halfway at the top and this is five and a half centimeters across next holding it so your inside color so my pink is the inside is facing towards you and you've got the pocket on the top side like that you've got a little pocket here you want to bring this over like you're going to fold it in half but we're going to go through this little pocket here this loop so bring this end up and through this loop and then keep pulling it through and then you're going to flip it over and lay it on the top like that I'll show you that again so holding it so you've got your inside color facing towards you with a little pocket fold this piece up through that bottom pocket or the loop and then flip this back over and lay it over the top and you want to line these two pins up and then you're ready to sew across this middle we want eight stitches across this middle so I've got my needle here threaded with some double strand thread and a knot at the end so we're going to sew it exactly the same as I did the first piece which I didn't show I'm going to start off by going in this corner here on the right I always work from right to left because I'm right-handed I'm going to pull that all the way through to the knot then I'm going to come back through for two and back in for three back out for four back in for five then coming out on this corner here for six make sure I catch all of those layers and come through for the sixth stitch so you have six on this piece here and then two on the last piece so now we're doing stitch number seven and then coming through on the very last corner for our eighth stitch and then I can remove these pins So your stitching should look like that and then I'm going to pull this tight to form the pinch keeping this pinched in place with this hand then I'm going to go through this end just to seal that off so the pinch doesn't come loose I'm going to go in that end once and on this second go I'm not going to pull it tight I'm going to go through this 
loop here a couple of times to form a knot. Pulling it tight and then trimming off that excess thread and the tail end that side as well. Just set that side, so we'll use that again in a minute. And then you can just sort of shape that up. So you want it so these bits curl round and in like that. And then we're now ready to glue these two halves together. And that is our base bow done. So I'm just going to place some glue on that centre. And then lining those up. Just going to hold that in place for a little while just to make sure that glue sets and holds it all together in place. So that is done and this bow is also known as the Amora which I guess that is where you get the full name of this bow which is the Amora Poema. So I guess they call this bit the Poema or Poem in English and this bit is the Amora which translate to blackberry. So we're going to set that to one side now, whilst we make our other half of the bow, which is going to look like this, with that gorgeous cornered bow part. So again, we're going to bond these two pieces together. And this is the 28 centimeter length of ribbon. So these two are the 28 centimetre lengths. Again, we're going to bond these two ends. I'm just going to take my lighter, heat seal the end, and then just give it a little pinch whilst that's still hot. Careful not to burn yourself. And that will just hold those ends together. So they're joined now at the ends like that. Next, I'm going to turn this over. So my top color, which is the pink, it's up to you which way around you want it. So I've gone for the pink and this lovely shimmery blue to bring out the blue in my pattern scaled ribbon. And I want my pink to be on this part and obviously the shimmer to come through on the bow there. So taking two pins first of all we're going to measure from the left hand side we're going to measure in eight and a half centimeters so eight and a half centimeters I'm just going to pop a pin at that point and then from the right hand side we're going to mark 13 centimeters so 13 centimeters in from the right pop a pin in there so this is eight and a half centimeters in and this one is 13 centimeters in then taking a needle and thread with a knot at the end you want to sew in a pinch at the eight and a half centimetre mark. And that is going to be the pinch for this little cornered bow, this little pinch here in the middle. Now, obviously, I want mine to be the blue side upwards on the bow. So to make my pinch the correct way, I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to sew my pinch in through this way. So the blue is facing upwards. So whichever way you want to be facing the top of the bow have that facing towards you I'm going to remove that pin and I'm going to sew in my pinch one two three four five six and the reason I turn this over so I sew my pinch the correct way is because with a pinch in the middle, you always want to go in through the first side and come out through the last side so that your pinch sits with the sides facing downwards because then the bow will have a nice finish. And then I'm just going to pull this tight to form 
that pinch and then just wrap that around the center a few times to hold it in place and then on the underside I'm just going to go through to seal it off I'm going to go through a couple of times so that's one time and then on this second go I'm not going to pull it completely tight I'm going to go through this little loop before I pull it tight a couple of times and that will form a knot to hold that in place and trim off the excess thread I'm going to trim off that little tail end as well so this is what we've got now we've now got a pinch sewn in where the eight and a half centimeter pin was and we've still got our 13 centimeter pin in from the right hand side so now where we've got to this stage again I'm going to flip this upside down and then this is where the one centimeter wide ribbon comes in I've chosen pink to match my ribbon here so I'm just going to heat seal that end and I'm going to place a bit of glue on the end and I'm going to wrap the center of this pinch so I'm starting off on the underside and I'm going to go around this a couple of times I just had to stop the video there because I had a delivery come so where was I I was wrapping this center so I've gone around one time I'm just going to place a bit of glue on there again to go around a second time and then I'm going to trim off as far as I need it heat seal that raw edge and then finish by gluing that down on the underside. So this is what we've got now, that lovely little pinch in there for that cornered bow. And then I'm just going to flip it upside down again because now we can start making the bow shape. So what we're going to do is fold this end in half to mark the center. I'm just going to pop a little pin in there. So we've marked the center here and then we're going to fold this piece backwards. So you're just simply going to fold it in half to the halfway mark. But then we're going to twist this side down so this pin is in line with that pin there and you want this edge to be in line with the edge of this ribbon here and once you're happy that that's all nicely lined up I'm just going to grab a couple of these clips and hold that in place with those so this is what it's like now from the top and this is the underside and then next with this side we're going to bring this forwards and over so you're going to lay it over the top of this piece so bringing it in like you're folding it and then lay it over the top and then again we're going to line this piece up with this piece of ribbon that we've just clipped there so lining it up so it's all straight across and central and again I'm just going to remove these clips and pop them over all of those layers so this is the underside and this is the top side like that 
And now we're ready to sew in our pinch. So again, taking another needle threaded with some double strength thread. I'm just going to pop a knot in the end. We're going to sew from this top side and we're going to sew six stitches from this corner to this corner. So we're going to go in for the first stitch. Making sure you catch all of those layers together like that. And then coming back through for the second stitch. Three. Four. Move the other clip. Making sure they're all nicely lined up. Five. And coming in through all of those last corners for six like that and then you can remove those pins and then pull in the pinch and then again holding that in place Making sure it's nice and tight. I'm going to go in through that edge a couple of times again to hold that in place. Go through that loop before I pull it tight a couple of times to form a knot and hold it all together. Again, I'm just going to trim off those little edge pieces and tail ends. Be careful not to cut the ribbon. And that is the other half of that bowed bow, bowed bow, yeah, <laughs> corner bowed bow. And then when you pop them together, as you can see, the bows fall in opposite directions. So you follow the exact same steps on both halves of the bow and you will get this opposite effect. So now we're ready to join these two halves together. So I'm going to place some glue along the centre there and then lining those two centres up. I'm just going to hold it in place for a minute or two just to make sure that takes. And there you have that gorgeous corner bowed bow. So we're going to now lay that one aside before we pop this all together. We've got the last bit to do and then we can puzzle them all together. And these are my tails. Again, this is optional. As I said before, you can do five tails, three tails, a bow, whichever base bow you prefer. So first of all, I'm going to add my spikes. So to do that, I'm just going to line up these ends. Fold it in half. And then from this open corner, I'm going to cut in diagonally. And I like to curve it slightly. You could do this one at a time if you find it easier. But for quickness, I like to cut mine together. So I've got these nice, soft V shapes in the end. And then I'm going to do the same with the other end. So line them up, fold them in half, and then from the open corner here, cut diagonally, rounded at an angle. 
and that gives you your pointed ends and then to heat seal these ends I fold it in half but let go a little bit because you don't want them to touch them because they will bond together and while I've got them like that I then heat seal those ends together like that and I'm going to do the same on all six ends of this ribbon now I've heat sealed all the ends on my tails here so now I'm going to put these together so again I'm going to knot another piece of thread with my needle here and I'm going to line these up with my pattern piece on the top because that's the piece that I want in the middle and then I'm going to fold these in half to find the center and I'm just going to pop the pin through that middle to hold them all in place and then the bottom two I'm going to cross them over so I'm just fanning them out like that and then I'm leaving around sort of a centimeter gap in between and then I'm going to sew across this middle to form a pinch so I'm going to go in one two three four five six seven and eight and then I'm going to pull that tight wrap that around that center and then just seal that off on this underside by going in once and on the second one as I did before through that loop a couple of times and that is the tails for the base so now we can place all of these together. So first of all, we're going to place our base bow on our tails. So we're going to work our way from the bottom upwards. So place some glue on the bottom of that base bow or surrounding bow, should I say. Line that up on the tails. And now we're going to place our main bow inside the surrounding bow. So I'm going to place some glue inside the center. Line that up. I'm not worrying too much with how it looks right now because I just want to get that stuck down first and central. So I'm just making sure that all of the centers are lined up. And then I'm just going to tuck that bow or nest it nicely inside that surrounding bow. So I'm just going round, tucking it all in nicely. And as you can see, that fits in there perfectly. And now we can wrap our centre and add our clip. So first of all, I'm going to line my clip. This is optional. 
that's just something that I always like to do just to hide the hardware and it just gives it a nice little finish so this clip that I'm using is a 55 millimeter clip because the bow is quite a big size and I'm just going to place around five centimeters of glue along with that ribbon place it underneath the bow just on that end where you pinch then push it inside the pinch part and then I'm going to place some glue along the top of the clip And then I'm going to trim off the excess ribbon, heat seal that raw edge and I'm not going to glue this piece down just yet. I'm going to stick it to the underside of my bow first. I'm just going to place my clip on the underside of the bow and I'm going to use that same pink ribbon to wrap my center so again I'm just going to heat seal that raw edge and then under this clip place the end of the ribbon central to the bow and then just start bringing it around my bow and when I get to this top part I am going to add a bit of glue along that join just to make sure that that keeps hidden by this center strip and back round under the clip and I'm going to go round for the second time And then trim off the excess ribbon. Heat seal that raw edge. Be careful not to burn your beautiful bow. And then place the last bit of glue on the tail end. And wrap that under the clip. And now we can stick this over. So I'm just going to hold that out of the way. Pop some glue along that last end. And over the top of that centre strip. And under the clip. And that just gives that a really nice finish. And then when you flip your bow back over, you will need to just line it all up again. Just nest it all inside. Now you can leave it like that if you wish. But I have got a couple of embellishments here which I thought about adding to the center. So I've got this glittery resin mermaid tail or I've got this cute little mermaid unicorn. So I think I'm gonna go for this, this little mermaid tail. I'm going to add that on the center there diagonally. So to add this, I'm going to scratch up this bottom a little bit just to roughen it up. Just that will just help the super glue get a good bond on there, get a good grip. So 
so just roughen the bottom up a little bit and i've got my gorilla super glue gel green lid you can get one with a brush as well but i've always just used this green lid one i've given it a good shake it says shake before use and i'm just going to apply that onto my embellishment and this glue as you can see that's not runny that's a really nice gel so it just makes it easier to apply I just like to give it a tap so there's not too much glue around that tip there just going to give it a little wipe with some tissue before i pop my lid on and then i'm going to place that in the center of my bow. And there you have your finished corner bowed bow i don't know what to call this one the um bowed boutique maybe i don't know i have to get creative with a name for this one but that is an absolutely stunning hair bow that really is gorgeous and you can have a play about with different colors and patterns i really do like to contrast the color of the bow to the main ribbon here so the blue and the pink that just has got a really nice contrast and the patterned ribbon at the side brings out all those colours beautifully. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you've got any questions, do pop them into the comments below and I will do my best to get back to you. Don't forget to press that like button if you like this tutorial, subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button to turn on notifications. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you again soon. Bye.